Hey guys, here we are in video three. Um, it's taken us, you know, two videos just to get to this point um, to where we're actually starting to look at messing with um, the fuel map, just the, even the most basic stuff in, in the fuel map. Um, I'll say this uh, again, if you guys have not watched the previous videos, if your sensors aren't reading right, if you are totally confused as to why my map looks like that, or um, in, in any of these things, go back, watch the previous videos, and you will have a much better understanding of where we're at, what we've done, and why we've done it. Um, so here we go. <clears throat> in this video, uh, we're going to look at you know first startup and doing pretty large fuel percentage changes along with very basic idle um, tuning. You'll notice here we've got it set at uh, 1200. The reason it's at 1200 again um, is just to keep it uh, just to keep it idling. We'll mess with all this stuff later. This will be a whole video all on its own, as well as some other uh, some other maps included with this. But um, uh, we're, we're going to target you know an idle base of, of 1200. So over here, <coughs> I'll go ahead and start the car and uh, mainly watch um, you know your 021 AFRs here, and you'll notice pretty much right off the bat. Um, again, make sure your throttle. Make sure your throttles are on 1%. Um, make sure your engine load is reading right. Make sure uh, you know your 021 is, is fully warmed up and everything. It should be reading full lean right now. Um, as soon as you go to uh, crank it, as, as long as it starts and everything, um, what, what we're going to do is watch this 021. And if you're, you know, relatively rich, you know, uh, um, if, if it's anywhere above 11 to uh, roughly 14 or so, um, after, you know, it's been on for running for 30 or 40 seconds, something like that, just leave, leave the whole map alone. Leave the whole map alone. What we're going to focus on isn't so much the, uh, the the starting fuel right now because here's the thing we're to the point where what we're actually going to do is be working backwards. Okay, so we don't really care if our fuel is um, if if our start fuel is right right now or if, if the car won't start right up or something like that. Don't worry about it. Um, if, if your car will not start, you know, you might uh, look into here and going, you know, um, your crank injector times and uh, your initial crank pulses, you can raise them uh, up or down according to if you need more fuel or not. Um, but basically, uh, what we're focusing on right now is once the car is started, we want to get to operating temperature. And then from there, that's when all of this really starts becoming relevant. Everything has to be done once it's fully warm. That is your starting point, not immediately after you start up. Those are cold start values. There's, there's idle warm up. There's a bunch of tables just for that, just from first cold start up to operating temperature. That's a whole nother video all on its own. Okay, so get the car started, get it to operating temperature. And then what we're going to do is depending on if you're you know super rich or super lean again if you've watched my previous videos you're caught up on the the hot keys control a which is select all and then I'm gonna introduce a new one in this instead of hitting s and doing set value I'm gonna hit e Edward and it's gonna bring up a percentage change okay so let's say if you're um, let, uh, you're running uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's let's let, let's just say you're you're super rich. You're, I mean, you start the car and you're running ten flats. I mean, the the car straight up will not idle and it's just puke and black smoke. Okay, um, let's do a percentage change of um, <coughs> let's say uh, we'll, we'll we'll take we'll take twenty percent out of the whole map. Okay, so we're gonna type in eighty now. This right here, if no one, if you guys have never used this, uh, this AEM tuner before, and you haven't s uh, set this up, if you're familiar with the V1, uh, which is AEM Pro style, you know that a percentage change is based off of 100. So if you type in 80, you're subtracting 20% fuel. If you were to type in 100, there'd be no fuel change. It's 100%. Um, and if you were to do 120%, you would be adding 20%. I personally liked that, um, you know, just just that concept. So I like to keep it AEM Pro style, okay. 
and you'll notice that the values went down. Okay, if I hit Control Z to undo my changes, you'll see them go back up. Like, watch these values right here. Okay, E, I've selected just those values. Okay, I want to go, I want to increase those selected values by 10%. Okay, so I'm going to type in 110%. Okay, and it's bringing this up. Now, if, if you are sure that this is the one you want, go ahead and click the dialog box. Remember my choice, so this doesn't come up every time. And uh, do AM Pro Style. Now, right there, it raised those boxes 10%. Okay, just to those. So we'll Control Z it, bring it back down. Undo is Control Z. And for right now, we'll focus on making large changes to the whole fuel map because as simple as this looks right now um, it, it's actually a pretty decent starting point obviously you're gonna change it and modify fuel uh, accordingly to your setup but it's not a bad starting starting point um, it would be a good idea to get in here and basically everything from the 1150 column to the left um, I usually what usually tunes out really nice is to let's see especially down here in idle select these values right here hit control C which is copy and hold then hold shift and then the left arrow and now you've selected the values to the left you can hit control V which is paste and you can hit control V or uh, shift over again now you've selected these values and you can hit control V again okay and what you've done is you've created um, what some people call a floor okay so um, well, not necessarily a floor. Um, if it were a floor, it would be like 3.9. All of these, this little section right here would be 3.9, and this would be a floor. Okay, so it would look something like this. Like that. Okay. Um, I personally don't like to do that. I've always had much better idle results with, um, you know, de decreasing fuel um, with uh, manifold pressure. Um, obviously, this is boost up here all up here and then this is vacuum down here um, so uh, I would set these values right here to be the same um, going from left to right over to about 1100 even 1500 if you want to it keeps it will help you with idle it cre creates a nice area for uh, uh, the, the idle to sit in and it, it keeps it keeps it pretty consistent um, so let's go. Let's go ahead and do this. Can we'll copy that value and paste it there and paste it there. And we've got a nice little floor. Okay. So we'll select the whole map. Let's say that we're still rich. We're to full operating temperature and we're still rich. Okay. The car's just dying. So we'll hit E and we'll take out um, twenty percent. So I type in eighty. Hundred minus eighty is twenty percent decrease. Okay. So now we've taken twenty percent out of the whole map lower let's say it's still rich we'll hit E again 80 again we've taken an additional 20% out of all these values so let's say now we'll bar we're, we are a ballpark let's say you know we're at 12s or something it's decently happy okay um, it's not too rich it's not too lean we're at full operating temperature now we're gonna go over here to the idle tab and what we're gonna do is we are going to play this is um, idle versus target okay what we're gonna do is uh, just select the whole thing again select the whole map and depending on where we're at here we're targeting 1200 all the time it doesn't matter what coolant temp we are at we should be at 1200 whether it's negative 40 or it's 120 degrees Celsius okay um, those are extremes but it's the same value all the way across move the whole map you can use the plus and minus keys uh, oops, sorry, wrong one. Uh, let's do set that back to 1200, and we're doing this map. Idle percent versus target. This is your base idle. Okay, this is and if, if if you're on a Supra, um, it's basically um, the the percentage that think of it as the percentage that it's working. Okay, how much uh, how much air it's actually letting into the motor? Because that's what idle is. It, it's a, an idle air control valve is a controlled vacuum leak essentially um, whether it be you know a two wire pulse width style stepper motor style um, or even done by drive-by wire that's that's what it is it's all the same it's a controlled vacuum leak 
um, given whatever platform you're using. So let's say our idle is a bit too low. We're, we're targeting 1200, our AFRs are fine, we're watching over here, our AFRs are at 12 or something, and they're okay, but we're still at 1050. Let's move this whole thing up until we start approaching our engine speed at 1200, okay? So now, all that means is, at this value, right here, that one, that that is where that likes to be. It, it's roughly where it needs to be. This value above here is going to end up being a little higher, and this value is going to end up being a little bit lower. But for now, for now, we're right, we're decently where we want to be. We're at 1200, a little high, but that's fine. But it's given us a chance to tune our fuel map to a pretty rough guesstimate, like we're, we're ballpark. We shouldn't be able to start being able to put it around the block or start rolling, uh, you know, like rolling the car uh, on, on the rollers back there and start uh, going through the gears a little bit. So and there we just spent a whole, uh, a whole video on just how you can do major changes to your fuel map and um, you know ways to get there and things to watch. In the next video um, we will take a quick look at the timing map and then we'll start to focus more on this idle tab. Okay, We'll start focusing on all of these, we'll, all this little stuff I explained right here. We'll really start looking at how all of these come into play and how they start stacking on top of each other. What all of these things over here mean in the options. Um, and we'll start playing with the idle a little bit. Take a quick look at ignition, um, a few other little things, and then uh, we'll just we'll just keep going. All right, thanks guys. See you in the next one.